ಪ್ರಭಾತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂ ಚೈವಾನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಯಾಮುದೀರೇತ್ ನಷ್ಟಪ್ರಾಯೇಷ್ವಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟುಕೀ So who is that Iskan Bhagat Mahajalai? Iskan Bhagat Mahajalai, who is that? May I know that? Prabhuji, that was ours only. No, ours is that where I am. No, before also it was there, Prabhuji. From the beginning it was there. There's one account where I'm, you are seeing me, that is the hosting. So, who is this? Mundu Adev Hoslo Ochin Prabhuji, our picture. Achha. Okay, Dhritatma Prabhu, tell me what you learned yesterday. Hare Krishna. Uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. we discussed about there was uh, four types of gopis mm -hmm. and uh, Rishicharis, uh, uh, Devakanya, Nitya Siddha gopis and Sruti Chari. Okay, Thirumala Prabhu. Continue. No, no, I, I, yeah, I can. Huh? You are taking so much time. You are here referring. Uh, uh, Sruti Chari Gopis. Sruti so, Chari Chari Nai. Yes, Sruti Chari is Gopi. Huh. So among them, yesterday we talked about the Rishi Chari is Gopi. There is Rishi Chari. The Rishi Chari is Gopi. There mm. is two type. Uh, uh, they got that because pre previous life they was uh, in uh, uh, Tirtha Yuga. Uh, they saw in Lord Rama. So they have a desire to enter, uh, do some Rasa Lila. But uh, that Rasa Lila with the Lord Rama is impossible. So that's why Lord. Uh, Rama told them to I will come in form of the Krishna. Mm -hmm. in a, uh, then it's wrong. If Rama is coming in the form of Krishna, you are breaking the philosophy. No, no, I mean, uh, Lord Rama said uh, next time uh, Krishna will come, then you can enter in the Swastika. Okay. So, uh, so, yeah. So there is two types of gopi Rishicharis. One is who married Rishicharis. Yeah. One who married and give birth to child. 
Uh, they was uh, they contaminate and uh, another's of course they were married but they are not yet give that uh, birth to child and okay. next ram krishna prabhu continue hari krishna dhanavad pranam shubhu ji with your kind blessings yeah i would like to attempt on this most uh, delicate and very esoteric subject matter yeah <clears throat> in the discussions that we had especially speaking from verse number uh, 10 and 11 yeah. <clears throat> there were classification of the different uh, gopis according to their different levels of consciousness and we all we understood them classified as four in main which is talking of nitya siddha and sadhana siddha out of which we talked about uh, the <clears throat> gopis who were further classified into four, four categories which is described here as shruti chari uh, rishi chari gopis and within the rishi chari gopis we had two kinds of categories of uh, uh, them one who were married the other one who were married uh, but not yet had the children so there the understanding was uh, those bodies were fit enough to be uh, receiving the anga sanga of the lord and so the nitya siddha gopis actually their amshas entered into them and they could be taken to the rasa dance whereas the others were stopped and uh, yoga maya had not yet assisted them because their intensity of meditation had not yet matured to feel that separation and uh, as we discussed in this verses the uh, perspective which was especially very nicely explained by you is that the very embrace which they felt Actually, why why yoga maya didn't help them to go to rasa that second category yeah be, because their consciousness was not it fully matured enough in the sense that uh, there are, within that vishna chakravarti thakur is explaining that the first of all their bodies were not fit to be offered as externally <laughs> understood that they were touched by their respective husbands that was one of the aspect but yet even their meditation had it not it matured to feel that pangs of separation which was being uh, uh, comforted through the embrace of the lord and that had not it matured and so it had not it attained that stage of uh, qualification but whereas in their bodies are not fit means they are having the contamination that is because of the uh, having the children with their husbands so their body body is get contaminated and it is gunamaya that means it is impure yes, yes. and yes that's that's the reason so yoga maya thought that so this definitely these gopis are not fit for the rasa dance so and she didn't assist them so that's why their husband stopping them oh, okay next yeah should i continue further prabhu yeah yeah so be, due to that reason but yet in the uh, in the uh, second and the third line of that particular verses it is mentioned that the external meaning cannot be the wherein it was said that their uh, impious uh, credits were, were taken away or their pious credits were taken away and thereby they gave up their bodies but that aspect was being refined by sri vishnu chakravarti thakur in which he tries to mention that expression is only for those uh, external kind of a devotees who do not have the full understanding to protect the see the the sanctity of bhakti that is being projected like the, in in that sense but whereas the internal meaning was that same embrace had actually uh sh- shook off in the sense it uh, the word that is used there which was very interesting uh giving the two me- two different meanings as it in the sense the piety and the impiety uh which actually became um, shameful in front of the separation like you you described it as like the volcanoes uh um, the the heat of the volcanoes uh all of these aspects which is being mentioned here is the intense separation which the gopis actually felt and the comfort of the embrace of achuta that gave the opportunity that no, no, no. actually here mixing mixing here blur that means some confusion is there so how you should explain here so because of the separation uh, 
uh, with their beloved from their beloved due to this they are getting the viraha from that viraha tivra tapa is there so that because of that separation they are getting the tivra tapa and because of that they are feeling the extreme pain and that pain is so heavy even the material elements like volcano and the poison so these kind of things whatever they are generally the givers of the pain they themselves get trembled actually my god this pain whatever these they are getting because of this separation is is uh, millions of times is superior than that so that's this is that way that means here you should take the meaning that uh, these gopis th those are the gopis who are having pain due to separation from the lord and which that that pain that pain is making shameful of all the materialistic that means here you should take that ashubaha ashubaha means tivra tapa dutha ashubaha dutha ashubaha means dutha means uh, tremble or the shaken so ashubaha means materialistic ashubaha that means like volcanoes and this these all became so shameful this is the from the first line dussaha preshta viraha tivra tapa dhuta shubhaha for this line you should give that kind of meaning that's a internal meaning yes yeah yes. in the next line so yeah trimal govind prabhu what is the internal meaning for the next line dhyana prapta chuta slesha nirvrutya kshena mangalaha internal meaning uh -huh. <clears throat> then the this prishichari is gobis uh -huh. they they could not go to the join the raslila uh -huh. so i am asking the internal meaning of the dhyana prapta chuta slesha nirvrutya kshina mangala for this line how we took the internal meaning uh, mangala means for uh they are getting the happiness ah uh, that is the mangala in the their meaning no bro happiness chamal nam prabhu so when uh because of separation from supreme lord started meditating on the lord and because of the meditation they experience lots sangha present uh, through the meditation they, they are getting the embracement embrace yeah uh, uh. yeah sangha and they experience the uh, nirvit they experience the pleasure joy uh, nirvrut nirvrutti means pleasure pleasure or joy you know uh. and they experience the joy uh. so by the joy uh. actually they experience both one is separation and, and one is uh, that joy by that joy what happened shina akshinam akshinam akshin akshina mangalaha you are mixing uh, yeah, yeah 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 metal yeah metal it's not metal side okay i gave two internal meanings actually i am asking the first one you are not referring at all such a important topic okay so, Dhritatma Prabhu, you want to say? Uh, when the uh, gopi was suffering uh, and by the mind they are meditate to Krishna uh, extremely uh, and by that meditate they feel very happy. Yes. Eternal happy. They get the and that external that happiness they is gone. They get the embracement of yeah. the Lord and by that they are getting the happiness. The happiness. Uh, then after that? That is Chena Mangala. Uh, that, uh, that material happiness is gone. material happiness is becoming the shameful Shame, shameful yeah that means uh, krushanti krushit krushit krushi bhavanti that means they are all becoming so chota ban ja rahe mane they are becoming shameful yeah, they are, yeah, they are feeling themselves we are nothing what yeah. kind of happiness we give yeah. in front of the the happiness they are getting from the embracement of the lord yeah. 
So like this, they are all. Kshina Mangalaha means, Mangalaha means material happiness is becoming the Kshina. Kshina means is becoming the insignificant. Yeah, by the, in front of the pleasure of uh, embracing the Achyuta through the meditation. That then, this is gopis. That means you should take like this. Kshina Mangalaha is, who is that? Gopis. So who are experiencing the pleasure by the embracing the achyuta through the meditation so by that pleasure so material pleasure is becoming insignificant or shameful in front of that they are becoming defeated kshina means defeated this is the first internal meaning of this sloka what is the external meaning of this first sloka muni sandeepani muni prabhu You are there at that time or not in the class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Tell me quickly, revise, and we should go to the next. Someone. Not able to. Oh, oh, when, huh. when the gopis are uh, uh, through meditation in. Uh, Can anyone uh, increase the volume? Uh, they are... Um, Sirumala, that volume, you don't know? Hmm. Okay, speak. When they embrace the law. Oh, volume, but I use... When they embrace... Oh, you can speak, Prabhu. In the mic, can you speak, mic? Prabhu... Near to mic. Yes, when the gopis through meditation they uh, uh, embrace the Lord. Uh, huh. Their ma material piety, their ma material piety are existed too. Yeah, when they embrace the Lord, their material piety is uh, existed. One, one more point so, for the uh, first so line. The gopis. For first line, what? Tachuni Bandanaha. Uh, they, they burned away their all impious, impious karma food. Uh, that means uh, prarabdha karma. Dhuta Ashubaha. Dhuta means so cleaning. So Dhuta Ashubaha. Here, Dhuta, we are taking cleaning. So in the internal meaning, dhuta means we are taking trembling or the shaking. So here in the external meaning, dhuta means you should take cleaning, cleaning of ashubhaha. Their prarabdha karma, sinful karma is clean, is gone because of the, the tapa, the heat or the pain, whatever is getting by that because of the separation from the Lord, which is intolerable. So by that, they completely... Their impious karma or impiety is impious karma is gone, and in the by the embracing the Lord because of that happiness, their piety is also gone. Kshina Mangala means piety is gone. So then after that second sloka, what is he saying? Tamevam paramatmanam jara buddhya sangataha jaguhu jaguhu. So gunamayam deham. Then what happened? Their material body is gone, and they get liberation. liberated. They got liberation. This is the external meaning. This meaning is not the according to opinion of Vaishnavas. So that's why if you see the translation, now you see the translation for the gopis who couldn't go to see Krishna, intolerable separation from their beloved caused an intense agony that burned away all impious karma. By meditating upon him, they realized his embrace and the ecstasy they they then felt exhausted their material piety although lord krishna is the supreme soul these girls simply thought of him as their male lover and associated with him in in that intimate mood thus their karmic bondage was nullified and they abandoned gross material bodies this is the exactly the external meaning which we don't want
their uh, that means their material body gone and that means they got the liberation they went back to mukti they got back they got mukti this is the meaning but it is not because what is the problem in this if we take this meaning what is the problem radha rohini mata ji can you please ask if we take the external meaning which is there in the translation what is the problem you are saying it is going against to the vaishnava philosophy how स्टूडेंट्स बहुत स्लो हो गए आजकल कुछ क्वेश्चन के आंसर से आ ही नहीं रहे ठीक से यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड माय क्वेश्चन आर नॉट यस यस प्रभु जी भक्ति बिफोर भाव स्टेज ओनली अनदर निवृत्ति ओनली दिस सिंपल रिएक्शन आर ऑल ऑल विल डिस्ट्रॉय हां बट यस यस क्लेश आ गए इसमें yes yes you are you came to the point so right point in the anardhin vritti stage and maximum nishta ruchi in the ruchi you will not be seeing the there actually four kinds of anardhas are there according to the sri vishnu chakra thakur if you see that is sukruto tanardha duskruto tanardha bhakti uttan sorry aparado tanardha bhakti tanardha so in this these two that means sukruti and duskruti anardhas coming due to the pious activities and due to impious sinful activities these two are finished at the stage of anardhin vritti maximum and in the complete eradication is there in the ruchi stage but now these gopis in the previous life itself they got the premankuram so that's why if you give this kind of meaning then it is going against to the main philosophy because they are having the material karma and they are having the material piety but still they took the birth as a gopi in the goloka and in the wombs of the nitya gopis are the gopis so it is a very i am mean not so not not nitya gopis in the gopis womb so this is a very very in nitya gopis they don't have any kind of this kind of uh, children and this so because their husbands will not associate with them so anyway they took the birth in the gopis in the family of the gopis rajamandala is not a uh, is not a proper philosophy actually it's not a siddhanta so that's why now then after that so then what is the second internal meaning who is going to tell uh, to protect the glories of bhakti second but internal it... meaning for this shloka first dussah preshta virahati vrata padhuta ashubaha for this what is the meaning we give so who wants to say satprem prabhu only one this. thing you have to change dhuta shubaha what you should take in the second internal meaning prabhu ji can i tell uh, yes um actually body, this body is it has two portions one is gunamaya and one is chinmaya yes when this uh, this uh, duta shubaha means destroy destruction of the material body ah duta shubaha means destruction of the that means eradication of the material body ah duta shubaha means material means gunamaya body okay that means which is instrumental in mixing with his husband so that body is is get reduced or get deteriorated okay next Oh, what is the next line's meaning? Dhyana prapta. Or what we should take? So dhyana prapta means. Dhyana prapta achita slesha nirvrutya. By embrace embracement of achita, their bliss is increased and. the spiritual body is also increased 
proportional their spiritual body is increased how you are saying from this shloka how mm. from this line increased where is that word increased spiritual body from which word you should take it should come from dhyana prabhu no no increase spiritual body how to take from this akshina ha akshina akshina mangala you are right mataji akshina mangalaha akshina kshina means decreasing akshina means increasing akshina mangalaha means spiritual body chinmaya deha chinmaya deha is increasing and that means as much as you do the bhakti that much chinmayata of the body will increase chinmay portion will increase and if you engage the same body in the material things then gunamayata will be increasing okay i expect the proper attention from the students krishna prabhu ji yeah so the cause for the akshina mangala to happen is two folded which yes. is referred here as one as the embrace of the lord yes in in the meditation yes so from that perspective the root cause of that akshina should be the embrace and dhyana isn't it yes yes yeah so i just wanted to clarify that yeah, thank yeah. you yeah my i was asking from where you can take the increasing of which word that means akshina mangala this word is saying increasing of the the spiritual body akshina okay. increasing and mangalaha this spiritual chinmay deha yes sir i understood yeah so that means now we have to go further from here this is a also desired meaning uh, from the for the vaishnavas that means in the gopis what is happening so they are not really leaving any physical gross body that itself is is transforming into the material portion is getting eradicated and spiritual portion is increasing in that body so that means ultimately when that is became perfect their body is completely no spiritualized and there is no contamination in that body in their body and that is fit for the so participating in the rasa so that's why example is given for this what example is who is the example for this druva druva Not where there is no leaving of the material body is there that is not there so actually in the vaishnavas case what is happening whose noise is coming sandipur muni prabhu yes so in the vaishnava philosophy what is the siddhanta siddhanta ah, yes prabhu shambhala prabhu you are trying to say something tell me what is now from this what siddhanta we are learning tell me you are learning that you know when guru gives an instruction to a disciple okay guru okay. gives the uh, when disciple does bhakti as per the instructions of the, the guru, guru normally uh, he has a two kinds of body one is uh, spiritual body and material body that means everyone is having the, every body has spiritual portion and material portion material. so what happen when he start performing the devotional service service slow slowly He's when the senses and body are engaged, engaged in the, the service uh, his special body increase chinmayata increase that and, means and, and, spiritual portion and yes. gunamayata decrease decrease, decrease. Uh, so same thing happened for this gopis also when they started and when no 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 don't jump so yeah. as much as so bhakti is increasing so chinmayata will keep on increasing then finally what will happen when it slows uh, you know finally that uh, when we, they reach to perfection Yeah, he he then he uh, his uh, gunamaya body will completely uh, vanquish or vanquish disappear. Uh, disappear. Uh, disappear. Uh, only he, uh, special will remain with. with But person. we are seeing in the material world sometimes uh, pure devotees leaving their material body. Why that is not completely transformed into the spiritual? Uh, Why so, they are leaving the material body? Yeah, so that example is given only to keep, uh, protect the bhakti one. Seen on that. Con- Why it is con- happening? Con- What is the secret behind this? I, first, he said that it is by the will of the Lord. Krishna wants to uh, keep the uh, con- confidential. Uh, keep, wants to keep the bhakti confidential. Okay. One. Second, the glory of the bhakti, bhakti. Uh, to keep confidential. One. Ah. Uh, uh, That's why we. It's it's just a lila in the case of the pure devotees of leaving the 
material body, body. Huh. but actually it's not the material uh, it is not the fact actually yeah. okay uh, next uh, second one is tell me one more tirumala what is the next siddhanta you are all sleeping what in the last class So what is the next Siddhanta? Next Siddhanta is sometimes Lord wants to show the glory of the Bhakti in that time. In that case, what he will do? In that time. So he will be seeing in that pure devotee's case, their body is transformed and there is no living of body, material like body. The, like the Dhruva Mahara. Like this also happens. Sometimes it is also shown under the glory of the Bhakti and sometimes it is hided. It is hided through this act of leaving the material body. This is a Siddhanta actually. Uh, very rarely only the, uh, the glory of the Bhakti is revealed. Very rarely. That means otherwise most of the times it is kept secret only. Okay. We should not get any asraddha in this. Huh? This kind of statements Acharyas are making. Then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you make the, if you have not have full faith in the instructions of Shastra, it will be Nama Aparad. What is Aparad? That is nine, ninth Aparad. Not having the full faith in the Astra. Yeah? Uh, and the, yes, and the glories of this holy name. That holy name can do this much. And yes, it will make disappear the material body. There is no doubt in that. Yeah. One question. Can we compare such uh, um, Siddhanta to some other point? If people, for example, are in the, in the material body, but they um, progressing in spiritual um, part, and uh, in in the woman in one moment, um, the functions of the body they are not um, suitable to be in the body, you know. But uh, we can see that it's like, like pain or uh, some function details or some blood uh, pressure or anything, they are not comparable with the life you know, with the man life. But uh, holy name allowed such person to be in the body, you know. Sometimes I saw such uh, examples, uh, doctors saying in this moment, this is not comparable. This situation is not comparable with the life of the man, but the man is in the life. He can be in the body. Can we compare such uh, Siddhanta with some, for, for, for some examples? Uh, that means some uh, miracles you are saying. That means uh, which are uh, extraordinary yes, things yes, are happening. Yes, yes, yes. Extraordinary, yes, yes. Uh, extraordinary things can happen because Lord is akartum, akartum, kartum, akartum, anyatha, kartum, samartaha. So Lord and mm -hmm. Lord's name is having the full potency. It can do, it's beyond our logic. Its glories are beyond our logic. Definitely will happen okay. kind of things. Yes. Okay. Because that is the glory of Lord holy name. Yes. To, when Lord wants to show them the glory of his holy name, so that kind of situations may happen. Mm -hmm. So that his faith will increase. That means he will be helping that devotee to put more and more strong faith. In that yeah. the Lord is having the full free will to uh, play with our devotees, his devotees. So mm -hmm. he may give sometimes uh, suffering, sometimes pain, uh, some he may show miracles, anything he can do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to I uh, will finish the remaining portion of this for this nine and ten.
तो भी इसका थोड़ा कम करिए आवाज जरा वन मोर ओके ओके सो वेर वीवर सो दट्स वाय अत प्रक्षीण बंधना आविद्याबंधा प्रत्यादिवारणा च योगमायाकूल प्राप्य विच्युता सो दट्स वाय देर बॉडी इज ट्रांसफॉर्म कंप्लीटली इंटू स्पिरिचुअल एंड ऑलसो दे गॉट दि हेल्प फ्रॉम दि योगमाया एंड दे वर एबल टू गो आउट फ्रॉम देर होम मरणवशा देहापात व्याख्येम वु शुड नॉट से हियर इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट गोपी सो दे लेफ्ट देर मेटीरियल बॉडी अंड दे गॉट दि लिबरेशन सो दिस कैंड ऑफ दट मीन देर देर डेड देर डेथ हैपन सो दट मीन मेटीरियल बॉडी इज लेफ्ट आउट एंड सोल इज डिपार्चर फ्रॉम दट बॉडी मेटीरियल बॉडी this kind of vyakya this kind of explanation we should not give here na vyakhyam why what is the reason because ya ya maya kridata ratriyam vane asmin vraje asthithah arabdha rasah alabdha rasah kalyanyo kalyanyo ma varpuh apuh madiya madvirya chintaya so what is the shloka number for this can anyone read the translation ah oh, can read you prabhu translation english translation so that others can get the meaning of this based upon this shloka we are going to prove that they didn't left their body we have the verse number prabhu ji बलम सामी टेन फोर्टी थर्टी एट इज टेन फोर्टी थर्टी एट आर नॉट या मया क्रीडता प्रभु जी हाँ Ten forty-seven, thirty-seven. Ten forty-seven, thirty-seven. Okay. Yes. Ah. Mike. Uh. Although some gopis had to remain in the covered village, and so could not join the rasu dance to sport with me, at at night in the forest they were nonetheless fortunate indeed they attained me by thinking of my potent past times they are fortunate is there na that means they are fortunate kalyani kalyanyo pa kalyanyo pa kalyanyo ma pu this this is a statement From this statement, iti Bhagavad Vakya Kalyanya ya Kalyanya iti pa, Padopadanat Pati 
ಕೃತ ವಾರಣಾಥ್ ಮದ್ ವಿರಹ ಸಂತಾಪಾಚ್ಚ ಸ್ವದೇಹಾತ್ ತದಾ ಜಿಹಾಸು ನಾಮ ಪೀತಾಸ ಪರಮಮಂಗಲ ರಸೋತ್ಸವಾರಂಭೆ ಮರಣ ಅಮಂಗಲ ಮದ್ ಅನಭಿ ಅನಭಿ ಅನಭಿಮತ ಅನಭಿಮತತ್ವಾತ್ ತಾಹ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣವತ್ಯ ಅಭವತ್ ಇ ಭಗವತ್ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ದೇ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಮೆಡಿಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಡೆತ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಇನಾಸ್ಪೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ so my some devotees some gopis they were not able to come to this rasa and they are desiring but they are not able to come somehow but they are very fortunate they are having the good fate like that he said so that means here they were having the good fate like that he said so from this what lord is intended what is he is expressing he is saying that that means lord is going to start such a highest elevated uh, leela this a parama uh, parama mangala that means the most auspicious leela that is the rasotsava so before that so lord doesn't want to see the death of the any gopi who wants so who wants the lord so he doesn't want to see death of the air that's such a inauspicious thing he doesn't want to see so that's why that's why he is saying kalyanya that means they are all so lucky he was saying so from this we should understand that from the statement of 104737 of the lord's lord uh, of the lord's statement so these gopis didn't die they didn't die but they they got the actually good uh, kalyanavatya eva abhavat that means they became more lucky that means what that we are going to see in the future that means how they became lucky that we are going to discuss bhagavad abhiprayat tatha ta uddava tatha ta uchur uddavam priyatas priyataha tat sandesha gata smritihi iti shukavakya cha ta uchuhu yaha ಪೂರ್ವ ಅಲಬ್ಧರಸ ಅಂತರ್ ಗೃಹ ನಿರುದ್ಧ ಆಸನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಬೈ ದೇರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಉದ್ಧವ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಡೈ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ದೇ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಡೈ ಸೊ that's why tena maranam vina eva taha gunamayan dehan juhu that means conclusion is what without death only they left the material body gunamaya deha so here in the shloka what we are seeing they left their material body we are seeing ha huh? that means gunamaya deham juhu you are seeing in the 11th shloka gunamayam deham sadyaha juhu juhu means leaving give up so they gave up their material body that means it is happened without death because they were speaking with the uddhav after the next this leela ha ah. yes so but still they left the material body then how it happened then answer is virah tivra tap randitah tasam gunamaya deha ha ಗುಣಮಯತ್ವ ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಚನ್ಮಯತ್ವ ಧ್ರುವಾದೀನಾಮಿವ ಪ್ರಾಪು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿರಹ ತಾಪ ತೀವ್ರ ತಾಪ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಬರ್ಂಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಇರಾಡಿಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಂಕ್ವಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ನೋ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಚಿನ್ಮಯ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ರೋ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ so their body is completely transformed into into spiritual so esha eva dehatyaga this is only the dehatyaga you should understand like this so not the like dead leaving the body dying 
not not that okay how the systematically sri lavisuna chavri thakur is establishing siddhanta and also keeping the philosophy following the philosophy and also so revealing the truth so you should we should uh, appreciate and we should also yes be thankful to sri lavisuna chavri thakur really such a wonderful commentary he is he is giving that means he is bringing coming and he is uh, taking care of all the aspects if you say geeta press translations are somewhere so much bogus they will be writing here yeah but unfortunately in our translation bbd translation also this is there this is so unfortunate i don't know why it is <clears throat> they translate based upon sridhar swami that's why that is a problem sometimes we should not follow the sridhar swami sila jeev goswami says in the tatva sandarbha wherever the siddhanta is proper to the vaishnava philosophy that only we should take if you take so everything as it is say from sridhar swami sridhar swami for attracting the mayavadis especially he want to bewilder the mayavadis so definitely he is not revealing here the 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 highest secret so that's why he made the sridhar swami made the meaning of in the in the even he is a parama vaishnava but so he doesn't want to reveal the secret of the bhakti to them so that's why he gave like this our acharyas they didn't take that and they give the vaishnava meaning okay now then what happened then after that so they got the spiritual body like dhruva maharaj tatha atra dya uh, kin ah uh, uh. prabhu esha eva dehate okay tatha atra labda alabda vinirgamaha iti tatra vrajaha vraje asitaha iti ah uh. तथा अत्र ध्यान प्राप्ताच्युता श्लेष इति तत्र मापुहु हा मापुहु मद्वीर्य चिन्तया इति तुल्यार्दत एव सो यस ही इज सेइंग द द सेम थिंग वी शुड टेक द सेम मीनिंग ऑफ दिस टू श्लोकस एनीवे टू टू लाइंस किंतु अलब्धरसाहोपीनाध्यम व्याख्या नौ यू सी इन द्लोक सो संगता अलब्ध अलब्धरसा सो दिस् कैंड ऑफ यू सी इन दाइन श्लोक श्लोक यू आर सी अलब्ध अलब्धरसा अलब्ध विनिर्गम नेक्स्ट संगता दट मीन सम गोपी हूर्वर बैंड टाइड अप इन दट हाउस सम आर् वेन्ट इवेन फ्रम हू आर् बउंडेड बै देर हजब बैंडेड बै their hus- husband in the house they also left sangata means they also left and also alabda rasa that means they are also stayed back some are stayed back so that means now you should take two categories that means what some are went and some are stopped that means the initially all are stopped by their husbands and their father or so and so but out of them also some are went and some are stayed back like this you should take that means what is the meaning of this this yatha saptasthanam phalanam like means that means what is the meaning after getting the siddha deha they were released that means yoga maya help somehow her husband may be sleeping or something he went to some other direction maybe yoga maya may played her trick and uh, when this Uh, gopi got the siddha deha that means chinmay deha she left but she went little late some are went immediately with the 
ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ಗೋಪೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಇವ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟಾಮಿನೇಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೆವಿ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿರಹ ತಾಪ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ನೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ರಾಸ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ರಾಸ ನೌ ಯೋಗ ಮಾಯ ನೌ ನೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಟುಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಬರ್ನ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಂಕ್ವಿಶ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಒನ್ ನೈಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಒನ್ ಕಲ್ಪ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯೋಗ ಮಾಯ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಲಾಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಮೆನಿ ಕಲ್ಪಾಸ್ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಟರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ದಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಅಥ ಸಪ್ತ ಅಸ್ಥಾನ ಫಲಾನ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಪಾಕೆ ಅವಗತೆ ಸತಿ ಆಮ್ರವೃಕ್ಷೋ ಅಯಂ ಪಕ್ವಫಲ ಇತಿ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ ಸರ್ವಾಣಿ ಫಲಾನಿ ವೃಕ್ಷ ವೃಕ್ಷಾದ್ ಅವಚಿತ್ ಅಚಿತ್ ವೃಕ್ಷಾದ್ ಅವಚಿತ್ಯ ಗೃಹಂ ಆನೀಯಂತೆ ಆನೀಯ ಚ ಯಾನಿ ಯಾನಿ ಸಮುಚಿತ ಕಾಲೇನ ಸೌರಕಿರಣಾದಿನ ಚ ಸೌರೂಪ್ಯ ಸೌರಭ್ಯ ಸೌರಸ್ಯ ಸೌಕುಮಾರ್ಯವಂತಿ ರಾಜ್ಞ ಭೋಗಾರ್ಹಾಣಿ ರೋಚಕಾನಿ ಜಾತಿ ತಾನಿ ಫಲಾನಿ ವಿಚಕ್ಷಣ ಪರಿ ಪರಿಜ ಪರಿಜನೇನ ಪರಿಷ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ಸಮಯ ರಾಜ್ಞೆ ರಾಜ್ಞ ಭೋಗಾಯ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪಂತೆ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಟ್ರೀ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಟ್ರೀ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೊ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯುಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಮೆನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ so those seven and also so whoever is just about to ripe all those mangoes you will cut it you will cut it and bring because now the time to cut so you cut those mangoes and you brought so first what you will do you will whoever that means because of the sunlight those mangoes are nicely ripen and also having the good smell and also saukumari that means it's a smooth naram that means it's very yeah, soft very soft and also very tasty juicy so this kind of mangoes so you will pick out from those total mangoes which you cut and brought to home and you will give to the king that means their servants will give to the king and king will enjoy those and remaining mangoes what happened to remaining mangoes so you see ah uh. yani tu anta pakwane some mangoes internally they ripen but outward they are so bahir apari pakwane but outwardly they are looking still green so green unripen so in that case what you will be do saurupyadi guna rahitatva that means internally they have the full that means maturity but outwardly it is not having the ripen that means color proper color so then what you will do you will keep once again those in the to get the nice shape nice form that means proper color reddish color to get that color what you will do so rupyaadi guna rahitatva so rasaniyani ragnah anarhani that means since the proper form is not there reddishness is not there and these are not now fit for the so enjoyment of the king that's why you will keep those mangoes with you only and then what you will do uh, ragnah anarhani gnayante tani ushma vishesha yogane then you will you will keep in some store store room or some in the in the in the in the rice or in the some in the grass you will you will, you will keep and you will warm it some kind of little warm is needed for that to become reddish yes or no in the same way the, then what will happen when the warm is given to that that means when you hide those in a dark place with the in the pot or somewhere uh yeah then what will everyone knows this then devs will become what will happen those ripen stani ushma vishesha yogena paripurtiya dineshu ragne samarpan samarpayante then what you will do so one or two days it will take once they will become ripen and then you will give to the king okay in the same way in the same way 
first that means initially gopis they are who are not touched by the husbands internally they have the strong feeling on their bodies also is completely fit so it is a pure so the yoga maya took them to he allowed them to enjoy with the lord uh, took them to enjoyment of the krishna and it's a, then but some people they have internally they have the strong feeling because of the association of the nitya gopis they have the the strong desire to mix with the that means unite with the supreme lord but their body is not having the that means purity is not fit so for that what so like the mangoes internally they are very mature but outside they are looking green so then what to get the proper color what we need to give some heat similarly these gopis because of that viraha so yoga maya made them to separated them from the lord so that some viraha they got tapa they got by that tapa so these gopis get purified they became ripen outwardly also that means pure devotional that means spiritual body they got and so yoga maya took them in the next night and after that night and after that like that so like this you should understand leela hari krishna prabhu prabhu before uh, now only you discuss that uh, uh, without giving uh, giving of the bodies uh, some gopis are associate with the lord so can you prabhu repeat Huh? without giving of bodies hmm. some gopis associate with the lord so how you describe can you please repeat <clears throat> so these gopis who are stopped by their father and husband and so and so in their house those gopis because of the viraha tapa their bodies completely spiritualized without giving up the material body that means it is transformed like the dromaras so those the, then then they are allowed to go to rasa dance like example is given here this mangoes example hari krishna prabhu ji yeah the point of appreciation here is even though there was not a physical meeting with the lord the very intense meditation on the lord itself had the same potency of meeting the lord and the purification took place that is the essence that is being conveyed uh here main point is yogamaya uh, is taking care of all this leela and uh, of course these these uh, gopis who had the husbands and it had the children with those husbands but because of the association of the nitya gopis so they develop internally the feeling of of unite with the lord but the only problem is yoga maya is taking care that their body is not fit their body is not fit because it is already is upabuktam that means is is enjoyed by their husbands so that is the purpose then just she is making them to get purified by their viraha so then they are becoming the then they are, they were taken they were taken to the rasa she is that means uh, yoga ma is completely taking care of the the uh, leela and and so yeah is there any something is contamination it is get purified that means outwardly they are having contamination their body is contaminated but their heart is fully with the that means krishna only they have full fully purified internally they are purified only but only the problem is body that's the point prabhu yeah prabhu ji i appreciated that so my my intention of uh, trying to um, participate over here is um, what we are trying to understand from these uh, commentaries from vishnu chakravarti thakura uh, yeah. that uh, the association of the lord of, of these gopis who were actually already qualified but the externally they had contaminations of being uh, uh, married or having children and so on Yeah. since it was also in the very beginning itself we understood that the, the lord had developed this desire to manifest these past times with his internal uh, potencies who were refer, represented by these gopis yeah. so external arrangements of uh, free them them from contamination or those kind of uh, uh, obstacles are being removed by his uh, shakti such as the yogamaya in combination with nitya siddha gopis 
should we can we try to understand it in that way yeah uh, but you are saying you, initially you said now the before this point you were saying that uh, so it's equal to that means uh, before that means instead of participating with the uh, dance with the rasa dance with the lord so even they are staying in the house and they are getting the same pleasure uh, that is that is not the yeah internally they are with the bhava they got that means dhyanena by the dhyana that is not the main criteria that is not the main point we want to establish that means there is no need to directly participate in the rasa dance and uh, so even that can be done by the meditation this is not the point we want to establish no prabhu ji i am not stating that yeah. i am trying to state that yeah. such gopis had due to that intense meditation they became qualified yeah to that participate is, they are qualified yes the only the little in in little ineligibility is there that yes. little in only externally they are not qualified internally they are fully qualified yes so their heart is because of the association of the nitya gopis nitya siddha gopis they already developed the fully that means love for the krishna only the unfitness is body so that is finally that is also uh, uh, yoga may arrange it so that that is also purified now and uh, so they became fit for the uh, rasa dance my one uh, clarification i needed was yeah. when uh, the yoga maya filtered those uh, un, un, uh, i mean uh, ineligible gopis from yes. participating due to their external uh, uh, yes. obstacles when they also meditated upon the lord very intensely and uh, they could achieve that qualification during that period of time also did nitya gopis again come and then they took them or it was directly that they went to the one of those nights no no they went directly because so yoga maya has the such a potency she is directing so she is directing them like in the previously we have seen in the putana case also yoga maya leela shakti vrunda 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 did such a arrangement so putana didn't ask anyone actually where yeah. is the house of nanda maharaj so okay. directly she came to the and she opened the door so of the nanda maharaj house so this is because of the vrunda's arrangement so similarly here in, uh, yoga maya arranged them after their uh, qualification directly to entry into the past times yes yes thank you prabhu yeah. ah when the husbands are they are stopping the gobis what what initially we, are, uh. we were discussed that when the husbands were stopping that gobis okay so they hold it that just only the outward body but the subtle body is went to no no that is not the philosophy then that is also one more problem will bring no like that we discussed here na? So, no what we discussed so some nitya gopis are the gopis who are having the pure body that means spiritual body that means their body already transformed it it is visible in the material world but it is not material body so such a that means they because some gopis even they got married because of the association of their husband because of they didn't associate with the husbands and their body is not contaminated so because of their devotion their body is completely spiritualized and those gopis so were stopped by their husbands but yoga maya created some kalpita that means replica we didn't say sukshma deha or stola deha nothing deha only something is created and given so that their husbands it is there maya is creating kalpita deha that is imaginary that is okay so so that their husbands are not getting the anxiety where is my wife and let me go so they are simply stayed back in their house yes everything should speak in mic because if you miss one word also they will get excitement why is prabhu ji saying yes for what he is saying yes you attend one time on online and you feel see that the problem what the online students feel you don't understand and you feel that all the time why i should speak in the mic you have to cooperate Sorry, with the others yeah next
ओके लाइक दिस एग्जांपल मैंगोस एग्जांपल इज गिवन तथा ये वो गोकुले जनिता नाम मुनिचरी नाम गोपी नाम मध्य यहाँ प्राकृत गुणमय शरीर ताम परित्यज्या प्रथम में वा सुद्ध चिन्मयी भूत शरीर हा आजनिश आजनिशता ताहा पुरुषांतर अस्पृष्टा हा श्री योगमाया प्रथम में वा सुद्ध चिन्मयी भूत शरीर हाँ सॉरी योगमाया नित्य सिद्धा दि गोपी भी सह एवा अभिसारिता हा सो द सेम थिंग व्हाट व्हाट डी जस्ट आई सेड दैट मींस नाउ ही समराइजिंग हियर लीला सो द मुनिचरी गोपीस who took birth as the that municharis that munis so in the previous life they took uh, the, the, the they took birth in the form of gopis in the vraja and some got the association of the nitya siddha gopis and at, by their association they developed the fully the spiritual body and they their their material body is transformed by their association already by that, by that bhakti so then those gopis even they got married with their husbands but yoga maya taken care that so their body should not be that means enjoyed by these gopas so so such a arrangement she did and those gopis who are not contaminated and their body is fully spiritual so they immediately so went after the flute sound when the flute sound is heard so along with the nitya siddha gopis they went back they went to the rasa dance so this is this is the, that seven eight mangoes those are like this seven eight mangoes which are already ripen nicely and inside also is fully ripen and tasty and a good smell and outside also is a nice color is there reddish color so such a mangoes are immediately offered next yastu bahir gunamaya sharira vatya taha api sri krishna viraha aushnya prap प्रापणया गुणमय शरीर भाव त्याजन विनष्ट पुषातर स्पर्श दोष दोषा चिन्मयी भूत शरीर कास्वासा पश्चात अभिसारिता नौ सम गोपी सो who are having the contamination because of the that means they also got the association of the gopis and uh, nitya gopis and they got the taste for the that means developed the devotion like the nitya siddha gopis in the lord so conjugal love but the point is their body is is somehow contaminated because of their husbands and those those gopis now that yoga maya kept away from the lord so that because of that viraha tapa their gunamaya deha is completely transformed into the spiritual and those gopis little bit that means after all these nitya gopis and the already purified gopis went off and later they went back that means later they went kaschit ishat okay that means and tatas uh, काचिद ईषद मात्र स्थित कषाया प्रेक्षा विरह औष्ण तवर्ताद रात्रु अभिसरा बट हू योर हिंग यू विल लिटिल मोर कंटामेशन सो दोज गोपी सो टुक दि इवन मोर टाइम वन मोर नाइट आर वन मोर डे सो दे आर इन दि दट मीन वन इवन फ्यू मच दट मीन इवन दे टुक मच टाइम एंड दे दट मीन दे कंटामेशन इज बिकॉज ऑफ दट ताप लाइफ दट so if you keep the some 20 mangoes so out of that 10 mangoes will be ripen first day and after that another five mangoes refer in the second day and total mangoes on the third day that means another remaining five mangoes like this so these gopis also are purified by that tapa and they went second third nights like that okay hari krishna prabhu ji ha uh. in this one clarification which uh, i was actually looking at since we are talking of uh, the gopis with their elevated consciousness and purified state of their mind but at the same time we are also seeing in parallel about their physical presence in the rasa dance with the purification of their physical state now uh, uh, the very rasa dance itself is so confidential but is it that this was an act actually the physical act that took place and hence the participation of the gopis with their physical bodies was 
to uh, emphasize that this rasa dance actually took place is that the reason that so much of emphasis is being presented over here in terms of the external body's purification making it completely spiritualized and so on is it because of that kind of a physical presence of the gopis in the rasa dance is that the, the essence here because yeah the point is now we are seeing uh, in the the statement first statement you might have remembering so all the gopis are having the pure that means aprakruta deha this is a statement we made initially that means uh, lord is not enjoying the material body of anyone so this is a statement we made the first from the which purana you remember this padma purana statement actually uh, what is that uh, what is that shloka in which place we in the, this shloka previous shloka previous shloka yeah in the padma purana so that is a statement you may remember in the beginning so we have seen gopyastu srutayah gneyah rishi rishijah gopakanyah devakanyascha rajendra na manushyah katham chana they are not the human beings and that means they don't have any prakruta deha their body is not material and lord didn't enjoy anyone's material body and they it is a purely transcendental this act is completely transcendental this is the first statement we made now we are seeing even this everyone is completely transformed and into that spiritual then only they participate in the rasa dance then only lord touched that body lord didn't touch the anyone's material body and yeah this is a fundamental philosophy so that is established now with this uh, na 10 and 11 yeah so that's yeah, why yeah. mundane people they think that the krishna was dancing what is this dancing actually you, they don't know the subtlety is the the philosophy what is this this example of uh, mangoes and their ripening stages and then becoming uh, fit for uh, service to the king is so wonderfully matching with this whole philosophy yes and it is really full of appreciations for this yes sir there is a srila visuna chakra thakur he is he is a master <laughs> i don't know maybe it is there in the vaishno toshni also uh, he might have taken from there also because sanatana goswami is also like very deep into the devotion so they know the fact actually they because they are all nitya siddhas and they know the fact what is happening so for them it is very it's very easy so it's like huh uh boiled potato okay <laughs> so uh, somehow at least we are trying to know uh because so that we are also have some because sometimes uh yeah prabhupada never want us to discuss this but this philosophical aspect by discussing this that enviousness towards the lord oh lord is also enjoyed that means many times materialist people even in the in the devotional also after coming to the devotional also so in the somewhere in the karnana of the art your heart is pinching and other way at least some dilemma some doubt we develop so what is happening how that means this leela happened why he is enjoying others wives so many questions so might be there so those are very clearly so now clarified which are the desire our desired goal is that but we don't have such a clarity what is there what is happening so the secret in this leela so now that is so we are hearing from the our acharyas it will help us so that our enviousness so he is also enjoying material body why can't i enjoy material body of someone so this kind of enviousness thoughts I will be fin finished ततश्चाप्तरसादिलासा रात्रे निगोपी सह प्रतिगृहम आगता दट मीन मेनी नईट्स आर देर सो इन दट मीन इन दंस्ट्रक्टिव नईट्स सो दे वेन्ट कन्सिक्वेंट नईट्स सो दे फाइनली दट मेटीरियल नईट अवर देर नईट इज फिनीश्ड अंड दे आल केम बैक अलांग विद्य सिद्ध गोपी टू देर रेस्पेक्ट टू हाउसेस 
after coming to the house what happened now you see so then uh, that means they enjoyed the rasa they experienced direct rasa with the lord and uh, participated with the lord now what happened that along with the nityasiddha gopis they also came back to the houses uh, they respect houses tad arabya then afterwards what they did prati pati sangataha yogamai eva rakshamanaha they were completely protected from the from their husbands through the yogamaya yogamaya protected these gopis who were participated in the rasa so they were never touched by their husband after that and patya 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 adishu mamata sunyaha they lost their affection for their husband and their children krishna prema ti bhara pari plutah their heart is completely filled with the krishna's prema sushka payas tanyah their breast milk is completely dried up because their children also now they didn't touch and suck their breast so swapatyan apushnayatya that means even they didn't feed their children ಗ್ರಹಗ್ರಸ್ತತ್ವೇನೈವ ತದ್ ಬಂಧುಭಿ ಪ್ರತೀಯಂತೆ ಸ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರಹಗ್ರಸ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಡಮಿನಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಕಂಡಮಿನಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿನ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಪಾಕಲ ಹೋಗ ಸಬ್ it means their relatives all the, uh, the neighbors all they are thinking that this this woman became mad and they rejected uh, yes like jadavart <laughs> so anyetu an uh, sarvam anavad anavadyam this kind of explanation is not going against to the vaishnava philosophy this is the right philosophy shila vishnu chakra thakur is saying whatever i commented this is according to the vaishnava philosophy it is not breaking any siddhanta anavadyam anyetu antargruha niruddah api na apatya vatya some other people they are saying that uh, they have the different concept anya means so some other philosophers they are interpreting about this philosophy in another way in binded in the house tied who are the stopped in the house so those all are not having the such children that means they are considering that they didn't have any children like that and in future we are going to see they are having children in the like that slokas are coming but then in that case this this second interpretation this this other people they say that they are not exactly their children their sisters children their so that's the co wife's children like that okay then jeev vishnu chakra tag didn't focus on this this kind of approach okay this is done 9 and 10 10 and 11 so we'll go to the now next shloka next shloka so purport is same thing from the vishnuad only whatever purport is there is completely from the usna now you study this you can easily understand okay you can self study for purpose is self study everything same you have covered already i went through also we'll go quickly what is the time now 29 we have one hour okay one hour at least six seven slokas you should know small slokas now king is having the doubt our king got the doubt now parikshit after hearing all this story <laughs> actually it's not his doubt but he is asking on behalf of everyone krishnam vedo param kantam na tu brahmata yamune ಗುಣ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ಗುಣ ಪ್ರವಾಹೋ ಪರಮ 
तुणधियां कथम translation sri parikshit maharaj said o oh, sage the gopis knew krishna only as their lover not as supreme absolute truth so how could these girls their minds caught up in the waves of waves of the modes of nature free themselves from material attachment so what is the parikshit question try to one take the one minute and think what translation is said understand yourself parikshit what he is asking question parikshit is asking that so previously if you see srila sukadev goswami what he said jara buddhya they were knowing the krishna as their paramour as a lover they know just a lover and they don't know krishna as brahman krishna is only the brahman but how they that means came out from their bondage their karma bandhana from their prarabdha that means parshit maharaj is asking this question with the answer of with the with the with the meaning of first bahir meaning for the last two shlokas he took he took this first meaning that means outward meaning external meaning external meaning he took parishit maharaj he is he is that means parishit maharaj is a, from child he is a devotee so but he is asking this question on the behalf of so non devotees so he is asking in the previous loka external meaning is what everyone uh, sorry everyone that means gopis they came out from their prarabdha karma and also prarabdha punya so by the meditation on the lord or by the viraha agni by that they left their material body and they got the liberation now parikshit is asking taking that meaning into account into consideration so but they know krishna as their jara that means lover not they don't know krishna as brahman then how they got this liberation this is the question okay by thinking or by knowing that absolute truth only, absolute truth only one can come out from the material body but here question is that but they don't know krishna as the uh, as a absolute truth they know only the lover Uh, that, is, tu, that, yeah. was, that was the question correct na tu, uh, na tu brahmataya mm, but viduhu that means they don't know krishna is only the brahman but but, uh, but what is the philosophy who know whoever is that means viditva tasma loka uh, imam loka uh, so they the, the, after knowing the brahman one will leave this material world one will be so relieved from this material world so but aya yeah, krishna is brahman we know but they don't know krishna is only the brahman then how they got the mukti how they got the mukti how they came out from this material attachment and on the top of that one more thing they know krishna is their lover not the brahman and they have the some kind of guna guna sangata guna prabhava is there treating krishna as as a brahma as a lover means so there is there is guna that means uh, mixing of the gunas is there in their consciousness still there is a influence of modes is there then how they can come out see this is actually targeting parishit maharaj is targeting the advaitins these foolish advaitins what they think krishna's body is material and krishna is also is, a, is they accept krishna as a vishnu or the krishna so as the brahman but what kind of brahman saguna brahman means they accept krishna as the so reflected in that that means pratibimba vachinna chaitanyam that means brahman reflected on this vidya and that is a krishna so that's why but his body is also material and uh, having any conjugal love with that krishna will never relieve you from the brahman will never relieve you from the material attachment material entanglements 
this is the advaitins philosophy same exactly is a, is, a, is a directly striking them actually they they say like that only they will they will get in their mind this question definitely because they don't know they are not seeing the brahman in the krishna this gopis that means they are seeing krishna as their lover means they are in the modes so being in the modes how they are getting the mukti Hmm. How it is possible? Yes. And any relations with him is also is a flow of modes. Guna pravaha is, or this that is also is guna maya. Hmm. Now sarar darshni. You already understood, but sarar darshni is little bit only. तत्रत्यानाम बहिरंगानाम केशाम चित मुखदर्शने नैव हृदय गतम संदेह मालक्ष राजा स्वयं सुखवाक्यस्य अभिप्रेतम अर्थम तत् प्रसाद जानन्नपि तेशाम संदेह निवर्तार्थम एव संदिहाना इव आहा द सेम थिंग दैट मींस Parishit Maharaj is who is sitting along with Parishit Maharaj. Some Advaitins also are sitting in that in that assembly. That is Vipalayana, uh, this Ayana, that Ayana, Devala. So many rishis are sitting, and Parishit saw their face, and by seeing their face, Parishit Maharaj immediately understood these people all are taking the Bahiranga meaning, and now they got the doubt. that doubt is by meditating on the krishna this gopi is how they got the liberation this is their doubt that means you can see na sometimes students when you are teaching so they don't need to ask by seeing their face we can understand they have the this kind of doubt like that parishit maharaj so also is observing the others face just nearby him to who are sitting and oh, yeah, they all took the first meaning only bhairangartha external meaning so yeah but parishit maharaj by the mercy of the sukadev goswami he knows the internal meaning but he is asking this question because he is a leader na he is a leader of the assembly he is asking in that whole assembly so he understood others are having you now doubt on this point so let me ask on behalf of them this question so that's why he asked this so how these gopis they are not seeing the brahman in the krishna but still they are seeing as a simply lover which is this is the is the which is the insight to the modes according to them actually advaitins is insight to the modes so then how they came out from the material entanglements so then he mune sarvagna krishnam paramatmanam api param purusham kantam swaramanam viduhu these gopis knows krishna is only their lover brahmataya na viduhu they don't know krishna is brahman atah gunadiyam krishnena saha darsay they are in the more, they have the material relation with the krishna because krishna is also material according to the advaitins brahman is only spiritual and krishna krishna's body is also material only so that's why having relation with the loving relation with the krishna is also material according to them guna dhyam krishnena saha viharama that means they have the desire that means let me enjoy with the krishna let me so play with the krishna so this kind of desire they were having that means their buddhi is completely their intelligence is completely is is is, is influenced by the modes is is completely affected by the modes tasam that kind of gopis guna pravahasya uparamaha that means how they their material bondage for this material world is finished how they got liberation how they are freed from the material modes katam tame that means tameva viditva ati mrutyu mupeti this is that means knowing him that means knowing brahman only what is the shruti saying shruti is saying one who knows the brahman they only come out from this material entanglement 
and he will reach to this. They can cross this middle low ocean. This is a Sruti statement. So that means because all these they are all sages, they are followers of Upanishad, so-called Upanishads. So they think like this. Atmara, Atmana, Atma, Atmataya, Vichakshate, Ityadi, Sruti, Smriti, Vakkehi, Paramatma, Gnana, Seva, Moksha, Prapakatvyoktehe. That means Sruti, Smriti, all are saying, whoever is understanding Krishna as Brahman, they only can reach, but not knowing Krishna as Krishna, they cannot get any liberation. So how he, how they got? Next. Sri Sukha Uvacha Uktam Purastha Detat Detatte Chaidya Siddhim Yatagata Dvishanapi Rishikesham Kimutad Yoksha Japriya Translation Sukadeva Goswami said, This point was explained to you previously. Since even Sushupala, who hated Krishna, achieved perfection, then what to speak of the Lord's dear devotees? You rascal, you are asking this question after hearing the, this much Bhagavatam? And what is this foolishness you are having? I already explained to you. <laughs> so, Barsanam, actually, Sukadeva Goswami got angry. Not on the Parikshit, but whoever. It means having this kind of question in their minds. Because Sukhadeva so Parikshit was seeing you know, other sages, they are having this kind of doubt. So that's a Bhartsanam. So here Sila Viswanachakura Thakur is saying, Vuktam Purastad. That means on this, based upon that, that he is saying, Sriman Munindra Api Nayam Vastutaha Ragnaha Prashna Iti Manasa Janan Even Muni also knows this question is not Parikshit Maharaj's question. This is definitely he is asking on behalf of someone only. Janan neva tameva pruchan medha shunya eva asi iti tvad vyajjena anabhigna neva tan barsayan. That means he is making, that means like sometimes in the, we also hear many times. So if you want to scold the, the daughter in law, so keep daughter as, as a, as a, just a, uh, as a temporary cause, uh, uh, what do we say? Uh, in front of us. So you can, if you want to scold the <laughs> daughter, you can just scold to the daughter, scold daughter. Then she will understand. Me. Actually, this is, what, this is meant for me. <laughs> uh, she can marry a book. <laughs> so like this, even everywhere it happens in every community. So the same way here, so Sukadeva Goswami knows that this is not the question by the Parishit Maharaj and this is questions of other only. So he Muni knows this and knowing this, Jananeva Tameva Pruchan, that means Medha Sunya, hey foolish people, what is this question you are getting in your mind? And he is scolding all others. Vuktam pro, what is that he is saying? Vuktam Puraha, already I told. Purastad, Uktam Purastad. Etat. This is already to explain. And also I give example. Chedya. In which canto? Seventh canto. Uh, that means whoever having the... So, dvesha. That means aversion. Or whoever... That means some kind of... Uh, uh, lust. Dvesha. Or otherwise bhayam. And or otherwise sohurud. Anything if they have, they are all continual and unchained, unbroinable. So this kind of feelings, they are all get the liberation. So this already I said. That means even Kamsa, Krishna, he also got the liberation. Or Sisupala got the liberation. So these people, they don't know Krishna is a Brahman, but still they don't want to accept also. So, but still they got the liberation. So that is said here, who, who is what? So now, Uktam iti purastad saptamas kande eva dvishan napi iti. So, sloka number is dvishan sloka number. You all know. In the seventh canto, it came. Maybe in the first or second chapters, I think. Uh, 
ओके दट यू कैन सी द्वेश लक्षण प्रतिकूल भाव इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव अनुकूल भाव अनुकूल कृष्णाशील सो अनुकूल भाव इज इंपारटेट बट स्टील इफ वन इज हाविंग द प्रतिकूल भाव लाइक दि शिशुपाल लाइक दि कंस सो दो भाव यदि साहिज्य लभ्यते दट मीन सुखदेव गोस्वामी से चेद्य ही टुक द केस आफ दि चेद्य चेद्य किंग आफ दि चेद्य दट इज द शिशुपाल सो वै ही टुक दिस अरे फूलिश so even the sisupala is having the so dvesha that means he is hating he is hating the krishna but even he is delivered he got the saiya mukti so what is the problem for you who are having the love for the krishna kamam kamam means lust what is lust here so so then what to speak what to speak of kama lakshana because from this krishna is getting enjoyment only na from the desha actually they will be trying to give the that means yeah yeah so desha is pratikula but here having the lust on the lord is then what to speak if they got then why don't these people get like this and one, and in this shloka we are seeing rushikesham this very important word rushikesham dvishannapi Lord is said here as Rishi Kesha. What is it meaning? Nirupadi Krupaya Swayam Avatirya Brahma Dinam Rishi Kahi Agrahyo Pi Marchaloke Parama Nicha Nam Pi Rishi Kesho Drishte Swachintya Shaktiya Vishayi Bhuta Bhavati. Lord is said here, Rishi Kesha. So today, God is saying, Rishi Kesha. What is the intention behind this? Why Sukadev Goswami is using this word? The reason is, hey, Parikshit, what you know? This supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna, he is a nirupadi kaha. That means he doesn't have any upadi, and still he is completely, he is a, he is a master of all the senses, and he is invisible to the human beings' senses, and but still he is, and he is not visible to the even Brahmadis. That means he is not visible to the, he is not uh, perceivable to the, he is not perceivable to the senses of even Brahmaji. And that kind of form is here, his, his form is like that. But still, that Krishna is out of so mercy, he is coming to this material world. That's Martya Loka means especially this human being's place. That means Bhuloka. He is coming to this Karma Bhumi. And we are who we are actually compared to Brahmaji. He is not visible to the Brahmaji also, but we are so cheap. That means manusya nam. So parama nicha nam api. We are also so nicha. That means parama nicha means human beings are compared to Brahmaji nicha. They are lowest. So fir that means nicha nam api hrushi ke shudrishte he. That means he is becoming the object for the senses of the these. This lowest kind, lowest kind of the species that is human beings. See his mercy. So that means, but foolishly, what we are thinking these advaitins? Oh, Lord is visible. So Krishna is visible, and he played activities in this material world. So that's why he is not Brahman. That is a foolishness. So you are so cheap. You are taking this as so cheap. That means uh, it's uh, scolding actually to uh, all others. Bhartsanam. What do you think about the Krishna? Huh? This is what Krupa Aishwaryam, Tan Udhartum, Idam, Api Ekam Tasya Krupa Aishwaryam Iti Bhavaha. That means it is the Lord's completely is the opulence of the Lord's mercy. Is a is mercy, is the opulence of mercy. and uh, that's why na uh, that's why many times we do, uh, la, that's why lord doesn't reveal the, his bhakti glories so easily if everything is revealed easily then you will give the another meaning that is the main problem that's why bhakti maharani's glories also will not reveal to everyone or is not openly discussed in the books also 
so even the pure devotees case we are seeing now because if everything is coming close then it, you will give you will think it is very cheap and you will give the another meaning and you will misunderstand that and you will neglect and you will simply do the offense now, this is the mentality of the human beings the conditioned souls so cheaply they will take so out of mercy he is coming but people think that so he is maya vachana chaitanyam he is maika is completely this body is out of maya and this is a problem that's a sukadev goswami is so angry now actually he is in an angry mood after explaining this <laughs> seeing because so much envious people they started ha having these doubts तत्र अगह सिद्धि यथा गतः इति प्रत्यासन्नम अघासुरम हित्वा विप्रकृष्टः चैद्यः यद्दृष्टान यद्दृष्टांतितः तेन राजानम प्रत्येतत सारहस्यमाह सो देयर इज नो यू सी रिसेंटली जस्ट बिफोर फ्यू डेज or maybe before maybe not few months back agasur lila happened or not few months means not ours krishna's so the other way for the parishit maybe on that day before yesterday you might have said day yesterday might have you said or the on that same day maybe on the same day so he told agasura avada but very long back in the 7th canto he said the chedyas example why why sukadev goswami didn't mention the agasura example to give here to explain the krishnas that means that means even the whoever is having the enviousness dvesha they are also getting the uh, liberation example for that example agasura example could have been given which is recently told then the why the chedyas example is given sisupala's example why it is given why sukadev goswami is giving that example is a point or not so what is the secret behind this why is especially sukadev goswami selecting the sushpala example why not the agasur okay that secret is some secret is there that means chait jasya api dvesha vine dvesha vinivesha niveshu drekat मुनिशाप निबंधन गुणमय देह परम अंतिन्मय पार्षद देहस्तु तस्वरो वर्तते इन दि केस ऑफ दि शिशुपाल शिशुपाल वाज हैविंग दि सो मच hating nature towards the lord he was hating, hating him so munishapa and this is due to curse by the sanat kumaras and that's why he got the material body but actually what he is the originally he is a parshad of the lord supreme lord and for time being he got the material body but because of this dvesha towards the lord dvesha towards the lord what happened his his material body is vanquished and whatever his nityas body nitya body eternal body that is still that means remaining antas chinmaya parshada deha that means inside that chinmaya deha is He is always existing. Tasya anash anash. Uh, what is that? Anashvaraha. Nitya varta. That is always existing. So this example. That means till now we discussed na. What we discussed? Eradication of the material body and so and increase of the spiritual body or otherwise. so preservation of the spiritual body that point we have seen 
so that example clearly we can see in the case of the parshadas in the case of the shishupala shishupala is one time long back he is a parshada only already that means he is having the parshad deha already with him but now because of the curse he got the material body now that material body is gone with the with the avarish that means the dvesha hating due to that reason only that material body is 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 destroyed material body destroyed means what here vishnu chakra hatam haso that means iti vishnu chakrena hatam ha hatam ha hatamam ha that me eva yeyo ho natu tau iti siddhim gataha that means so when he released krishna released for the uh, sudarshan chakra to the sushupala at that time what happened only material body is destroyed not the spiritual body ah atam haso this is the thing na this is the advaitins they don't accept the spiritual body they accept only brahman and to give the answer to them not for you you people already knows this this is simple this is like a peanuts for you but it is like a is a, is, a, is like a pahad that means hill is a big mountain for the advaitins they don't accept the spiritual body so that may to make them to understand is these are all commentaries are written for them only this comment is especially this shloka is parikshit is asking you should feel that sense why are all of sudden oh this simple thing what is there it's not simple thing it's simple thing for you it's not simple thing for the other philosophers so that's the point here that means what that uh, when krishna released the chakra they what is is ataham what is that hatamha hatamha amha means sin only that means sin means material body is destroyed not he that means spiritual body parshada that means is a parshada that is there parshada body is remain that you should understand that's the point it is establishing the spiritual body many people they don't accept these advaitins this is clearly established in the case of chaityaras in the sushupala but in agasur we don't know agasur previously having the spiritual body and because of the curse he got the material body now by the chakra only material body gone but spiritual body is there this kind of clarity you don't get in the case of agasur but this clarity you will get in the case of chaityaras sushupala that is the thing you should understand here why acharya write this line this you should know the intention behind it yes that is the point we are establishing in the last shlokas so they are all dancing with the spiritual body so advaitins don't foolishly take so cheaply and krishna is having material body and gopis also having material body and mundane rasa it's not like mundane rasa it's a such a highly important uh, uh, topics and they left and right they might have given the commentaries whimsically and vaishnavas they get so much pain by seeing their nonsense philosophy even madhvacharya so was feeling so much unhappiness that means you, their heart was hurted that means sankaracharya didn't touch the bhagavatam but his followers so they all started commenting on the shrimad bhagavatam so then all the society started accepting their philosophy and their so called nonsense commentaries then madhva felt so bad and all the vaishnavas now they are becoming the so called mayavadis and it was it was pervading in the whole society like very heavily in the Twelve. That means twelve hundred years back, thirteen hundred four. That twelve hundred years back. So when Sankara was there, after that, three hundred four hundred years, completely philosophy is whole for society is following. Then to save these Vaishnavas, to protect the Vaishnavas, 
to protect the devotees from their commentaries madhva gave the bhagavat tatparya nirnaya then after that that's why he especially wrote the so comment the essence the philosophical facts from the bhag based on the bhagavat proper philosophy he gave he gave the directions to the vaishnavas they should not be built now after that our so many acharyas our acharyas when gaudiya rasikas came then they fully established yes line by line they did each shloka they did but tatpari nirnay is not on each shloka by shloka only some area some important sections they took he took that's why we should be grateful otherwise you will be in this material world only you could have been if they were not there and suffering for the millions and millions of the lives and in this flow all these acharyas so so much uh, what is this is only book only na what is there like that you should not think see behind that how much their contribution how much their mercy is there how much their mercy is there how much they are giving help that means help for us try to should try to appreciate all the acharyas <laughs> so they are so great actually and because of them we are so this jivatma which is fully already confused that is our nature because of the modes influence of the modes and such a we are confused souls and for us first of all sukadev goswami we should we should up, we should pay obeisances for him we should be indebted for them for eternally indebted we are we are eternally indebted for all the acharyas all the vaishnava acharyas so yeah this our immediate acharya and also all previous acharyas also we should feel that kind of greatness gratitude towards them all the time remember if they are not there and they didn't give this direction to you then where you will be what you will be doing tirumala <laughs> completely bewildered so that's the next shloka nrunam nishreya sarthaya vektir bhagavato nrupa avyayasya prameyasya nirgunasya gunatmana king okay. the supreme lord is inexhaust inexhaustible and immeasurable and he is untouchable by the material moods because he is a controller his personal appearance in this world is meant for bestowing the highest benefit on humanity yeah thank you so uh, purports all are same prabhu nothing is outside to the vishnu chakra tagur commentary so that's why i am not touching the purport lines and if you see everything is covered already okay so now in this shloka what sukadev goswami is saying okay ha huh? nisreya sardhaya vyakti bhagavatah why lord is appearing ha huh? you people are thinking so cheaply transcendental he is transcendental that means he is beyond the modes and he is appearing for your benefit out of his mercy he is appearing for your benefit and you are taking him so cheap and you are claiming that his body is material now what what is this what is this so that's he why he is appearing he what he is you do you know he is avyaya he is aprameya he is a nirguna he is uh, avyaya what do you think about krishna do you think he is simply a material body is having like you no avyaya that means his form is inag- inexhaustible your form every day is changing your body aprameya do you want to measure him so like brahma ji also surrendered actually brahma ji is saying in his prayers what he is saying it is easy to know the nirguna form 
but it is impossible to know the all the glories of the saguna form because he is having the ananta qualities so knowing the all the but it is easy to realize the it is easy to realize the saguna form process simple devotion for shravanam kirtana but it is difficult to realize the brahman so difficult to realize the brahman but but once if you realize that means you will be knowing completely nirguna but you can realize the saguna form but knowing all the qualities not possible you can easily get ah uh, you cannot understand you can easily get him nirguna form getting is difficult but you can know him completely in order to know what is there nirvishesham nothing is there only chit chinmayam that is easy that we discussed long back so here that side it said aprameyaha nirguna his body is completely out of modes gunatmanah and he is a controller of the all the gunas now sarav darshini यतः श्रेय साधन मयि यत्किंचित संबंध मात्रवतो जनान अहम इति मनसि कृत्यैवा भगवतावतीर्ण वै लॉर्ड इज अपियरिंग Ah, uh, here in this sloka, vektihi vektihi means so the personal appearance, the appearance of the Lord. Why like, Lord is appearing in this middle world? Why is appearing? What do you think? So here, so Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur is writing. Lord is thinking like this. Of course, you may not able to follow such a big big methods for perfecting yourself. So like. performing the doing the yagya or performing the big big meditation long meditation you may not able to do so but at least if you develop some relation with me if you develop any relation with me so easily you can come back to me so that's why i am coming to here and appearing so that you can relate your, yourself with me as a friend as a lover as a child or as a As a, as a servant or otherwise an enemy or other any relative any way you relate with me so i can easily deliver you because i don't think you can do the such a heavy sadhana so with that out of mercy is coming but what you are taking you are saying that he is anything is coming in this material world is material only that is what what then what should i do how you are foolish is advaitins foolishness lord is condemning nisreyasam keshuchit saijyam keshish salokyadikam keshuchit prema charyarthah prema has prema charth prema what is that prema charthah tasmay prema charth ब्रू विजृंभ विजृंभ मेण ब्रह्मांड कोटि संहार समर्थ से ब्रू विजृंभण जस्ट बै रेजिंग हिज नोस् वाट डू थिंक वै कृष्णा इज कमिंग इन टू दिस मेटेल वर्ल्ड जस्ट टू किल द डीमस् वाट इज दिस नॉन से डीमस् ई कैन किल जस्ट बै मै ईब्रोस् इफ ई रेज मै ईब्रोस् इन वाट एवर द डीमस् आर् इन दिस् इन द मिलियन आफ ब्रह्मांड विथ दि वन raising of my eyebrow all will be finished but i am coming for my devotees just let them develop some relation with me they let them feel them let them feel let them see krishna is appearing here in this place you can relate yourself is vrindavan you will come to the vrindavan and see the places what leela she performed you can develop some relation with him easily you may not do the such a big big sadhanas meditation for the millions of years 
so out of mercy i am coming only for the my devotee's sake so people say that i am coming to protect the dharma what dharma protect what killing of these enemies i can do that my raising my eyebrows one time if i raise everything will be finished bhubhara bhuta kamsaadi vadartham eva vyaktir anyatha napapadyate iti bhavaha nisreya sarthaya that means he is he is appearing in this material world nisreya sarthaya that means for giving the mukti for giving the liberation or for giving the salokya or for giving the prema or for giving the saijya mukti for giving all this i am coming in the example sisupala case he is giving saijya mukti for him and some for someone he is giving the salokya mukti for someone he is giving the prema directly he is taking back to his love. so for this purpose i am coming nisreya sardhaya vyakti hi nisreya sardhaya means for the delivering the people only i am coming that means for the benefiting the devotees only i am coming not for the so dushta samharam shreya arthay and who am i do you know avyayasya iti bhakta janam swatmadanena api na na vetitya avyayah tasya i give always to my devotees i am aham bhakta paradina myself is i am giving to everyone even if i give to the millions of devotees myself still i am avyayah don't think that if i sell out myself to some devotee then and and i am finished and i have such a potency i can give myself to the millions of the millions of the devotees still i am avyayah inexhaustible ah kena prakarena ched ataha why why uh, even if you giving to the many many devotees myself still i am avyayah i am not in i am not exhausted i am not complete i am not finished or so because yeah nothing is reduced inexhaustible so the reason is i am aprameyah you cannot measure me i am infinite if you bring so inf infinite from the infinite is still infinite only infinite minus infinite is equal to what infinite only i didn't know like okay no problem it's a maths problem in 10th class also you we forgot actually parda you forgot but i know <laughs> you forgot but i remember <laughs> you read that acha <laughs> <laughs> but these are all needed to preach <laughs> okay yataha nirgunasya prakruta gunarhatas and also what why i am infinite because i am nirguna you cannot measure me because i am beyond the gunas nirguna prakruta guna rahitasya athacha gunatmanah sarva bhuta kalyana gunamayasya gunatmanah means i am endowed with the, all the good qualities all the infinite so spiritual qualities nahi aprakruta chidanandamaya guna sagaraha pramatum sekya bhaved iti va that means it is impossible to count the or measure the the transcendental qualities of the it is a ocean uh, it's impossible to measure it that is the meaning you should understand next shloka kamam krodham bhayam sneham aikyam sauhrudam evacha nityam harau vidadato yanti tanmayatam hite translation persons who constantly direct their lust anger fear protective 
affection, feelings of impersonal oneness or friendship toward Lord Hari are sure to become absorbed in thought of him. See. Kamam, Krodam, Bhayam, Sneham, Aikyam, Sahurdam. Anything you take. And you can easily absorb in Krishna and you can deliver from this material world. You can be delivered. So, Sarar Darsni, this all of you yeah, understood the meaning of this sloka. Now, Sarar Darsni is Tasma Toya Samanyataha Tavad Esha. What is the time? Acha, I am in the line, track. Tasma Toya Samanyataha Tavadesha Siddhantaha Avadharyata Mitya. So, hey, Parikshit, finally you understood this. How many times you will ask this? This is a Siddhanta. What is that Siddhanta? So, he question asked, so how, so if they are not seeing the Brahman in the Krishna, then how they got the delivery from this middle world? Then he is saying Siddhanta. Hey, if anyone have the lust, anger, fear, protective affection, feeling of impersonal oneness, friendship, anything towards the Hari, they will be delivered. This is the fundamental principle. You remember all this. Don't ask again and again. Okay? That means telling to others, not to the Parikshit. This is a Siddhanta. Kamam. Who is that example? Having the Kamam, that means lusty relations with the Lord. Who are those? Gopis. Gopi Janadaya. Janadaya. Next, Krodham means Desham. Who are those? Chedyadaya. Bayam. Kamsadaya. Sneham. Nandadaya. Aikyam. Atma Ramas. Sahurdam. Sahurdam means friendship, relation, relativeness. Relative. Vrishni Pandavadaya. This is all. Nityam Vidataha. They all having this kind of uh, different, different kinds of relations with the Lord. So, aduna pite te tam tam bhavam kurvan tan mayatam yanti iti tasam tasam lelalam nityatum gnapayati. Here you see what? So, yanti tan mayatam hite. Yanti is a continuous, present continuous is used. That means these people, that means Pandavas are doing the family relationship with the Lord, having a family relationship with the Lord, and always he is there getting delivered. This is happening. This is present tense is said. Yanti said, that means, it's not said that the, it's, uh, they went. Nityat, that means continuous is said. So that means, these Leelas are always happening. These Leelas. These Leelas are always happening. That means, gopis getting delivered, gopis, these Leelas are always happening. It's not that the one time happened and finished. Okay, next. Uh, in this purport, something is examples are given. That's all for the gopis, bhaktiya. In this, uh, we have seen na, for the lusty desires, feelings who are the examples of gopis. So, then in this purport, you will be seeing the sloka for that. And for this sneha, so like this, various examples are given in the purport. You note it. <coughs> I think I will get fever. Think. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's changing my weather. My body constitution is now changing. I am feeling. <clears throat> okay, 16th. One slogan I will do this. Finish it. Nachayvam vismaya karyo. Bhavata Bhagavat Bhagavatya Jai Yogeshwara Shwara Krishna Yata Yeta Dvimuchate Translation You should not be so astonished by Krishna, the unborn master of all masters of mystic power, the supreme personality of Godhead. After all, it is the Lord who liberates. This world. So that's why hey, Parishit, don't get surprised. Huh? 
this is lord's activity lord is so powerful krishna he can do anything huh? don't think that the so it is impossible for him so the, like that saradhani darshini saying nacha iti anyena vismaya kriyatam nama atra arde bhavata tu garbad arabhya so tan mahima abhignena na karya Hmm. That means, I know you are not going to have this kind of doubt, Krishna will deliver everyone in this material world. But the only, because from the, from the womb, you know, in the womb of your mother, you know the glory of the Krishna. So that's why I know you, you know nicely about the Krishna, but these others, they don't know. Na? So I'm saying for them only. Like that, you should take the meaning. So there goes some intention you should take like that. ಗೋಚಾರಕತ್ವೇಪಿ ಭಗವತಿ ದೇವಕಿ ಪುತ್ರತ್ವೇಪಿ ಅಜೆ ಹಾ ಗೋಪ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಲಂಪ ಲಂಪಟ್ಯೇಪಿ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರೇಶ್ವರಾಣ ಅಪಿ ಈಶ್ವರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣೆ ಸರ್ವಾ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕೌಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ Bhagavan. That means you don't think he is hurting the cows. He is a simply a, lab, is a Vaishya man and he has only wealth of the some maybe 10,000 cows. He is a poor man. What is this? So do you think like that? No. He is parallelly. He is Gopala. He is hurting the cows and also he is Bhagavan. Bhagavan means Aishwari is a Samagrasya Viryasya. And also he is Devaki Putra. what do you think he is taking birth in the womb of devaki that means he is having the birth also he is ajaha so he is devaki putra and also he is ajaha he is taking birth and also he is not taking birth and what he is a stri lampat so gopi lampat you are thinking he is just a paramour and he is just going behind the gopis but he is yogeshwareshwara he is the ishwara for the ishwara of the yoga such a person he is and what do you think that kind of krishna is this this is krishna that's why you see bhagavati ajay yogeshwareshwari what is the intention of the sukadev goswami so bhagavati means he is a cowherd cowherd boy and also he is bhagavan ajaha he is devaki putra and also he is ajaha he is a stri lampata gopi lampat and also he is yogeshwara so that is a krishna and he that krishna can so it is for that that kind of that is krishna and for him it is possible to deliver anyone so that means sri swami charana swami ji is writing even he can deliver this thavara jangama that means any moving or non moving any entities he can deliver okay like this take the meaning thank you very much shila prabhupad ki